Good Sunday morning, everybody, from the home office of the First Defense Doppler 3 Weather Center. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A gorgeous Sunday morning out there. If you haven't been outdoors and it's still early morning, go outside and experience some of those cool temperatures. If you miss them and you're receiving this transmission throughout the rest of the day, very much on the warm side, not as bad as it could be for this time of the year. Wait till tomorrow morning. Temperatures will be not quite as cool, but very pleasant, delicious weather out there for right now, getting a bit of a break in the temperatures. This is our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. If you've got any questions about what this is all about, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Checking out the forecast again for the rest of the day, the red bar at the bottom of your screen. Winds out of the northeast, plenty of sunshine, temperatures today back in the 80s, the mid to lower 80s at that, and into later on tonight. Temperatures for the metro area will be back in the lower 60s, but some parts of the Mid-South outside of Shelby County could be looking at the possibility of seeing some lower 50s tomorrow morning, so the kids may need a jacket for the school bus stop, and all thanks to this cold front that made its way through the Mid-South yesterday and did a very good job of escorting in a lot of dry air from parts of Canada heading through over the Great Lakes. A little bit of rain showers down to northeast Mississippi, northwest Mississippi, and down into northeastern Louisiana, southeast Arkansas, drifting away with that cold front making its way down to the south into the east, so not a problem for us, but some of those clouds will linger across northern Mississippi uh, throughout the rest of the day today, and again, could be seeing some of those showers into areas just south of Tupelo, but that's going to be about all that we see across much of the area. Coming up, we'll take a look at your weather pictures, and there were some doozies out there yesterday. Thanks to everybody for sending those in, and as of right now, if you're thinking about a cup of coffee, well, you can have both today from what it looks like on our exclusive cough temp decks. Morning wake up of a hot cup of java and into this afternoon warm enough for an afternoon refresher of icy froth to coolness. Again, your taste buds, your temperature disposal, your business. If you get a brain freeze or burn the roof of your mouth, that's your problem for not paying attention, not ours. So there. The rest of the day today, we're going to be going even closer to autumn. 11 days, an hour, and just a, over a half an hour's worth of time until the autumn equinox. It's getting here slowly but surely, but we still have some very warm temperatures heading our way. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Very much like autumn into the early morning hours of this morning, but not doing too bad for the temperatures out there. A nice break. No advisories to speak of. Very dry air in place across much of the area. And as of right now, radar is showing little, if anything, to be worried about. The green that you see on screen is just the sensitivity ramped up by just a little bit so that we can detect anything in the way of rainfall out there. And as of right now, there's just really nothing showing up in the way of rain across the Mid-South. A little bit more activity again down to our south. We'll remove that and make certain that we don't get anything in the way of huge amounts of return from the radar. So dropping that down to bare minimum and then taking a look a little bit farther on down to the south and the east. We're not seeing Again, anything in the way of concentrated rain until we get down south of Greenwood, Greenville, into northeastern Louisiana, Yazoo City, north of Jackson, and the 2055 split, seeing a little bit more activity there, but nothing else in the Mid South area at this time, and that is moving its way basically away from the area, not really moving all that fast, 10 to 20 miles per hour at best and heading away from the Mid-South, so looking much nicer there. Tim B. in Mineral Wells, Tennessee. Gorgeous view of sunrise this morning and some gorgeous pictures out there so far. Rhodes College, beautiful weather out there. Temperature, while well, the time we record this, at about sweat heat index. No reason to worry about that for today as we get some gorgeous conditions out there. Plenty of sunshine. Lori, 38654's webcam from her front yard, assuming, with a lot of sunshine making their way through the trees over the driveway and the front sidewalk. Ole Miss, a little bit of sunshine. Shine. A lot of clouds in the distance, not seeing again a lot of anything in the way of rainfall around Ole Miss, but we are picking up a few clouds from time to time. Almanac page for yesterday, 71 the low at 93 the high, normal for this time of the year, 67 and 87, record high for today. 96 setback in 1983 won't be coming anywhere close to that 47 the record low setback in 1940 rainfall yesterday a half an inch plus did pretty good to bring us up to a little bit closer to normal but we are still behind for the month by about a third of an inch and we are ahead for the year now by 14 inches plus so a decent amount of rainfall out across much of the mid-south which means vegetation is in very good shape fire danger remains on the very low category at this time 
Sun, so no burn bans to report across any part of the Mid-South early Sunday morning, so good news there. Rest of the forecast, again, as we look into later on today, we may see the possibility of some areas of cloud cover into parts of the Mid-South for the southern parts of the viewing area here. Beyond that, there's just not really all that much in the way of moisture left over in the area as those winds continue to make their way out of the northeast. That's the moving lines on screen showing the wind direction out there. Upper 70s to around the lower 80s and continuing to see some very mild numbers throughout the rest of the day. By News Channel 3 at 5, 60 minutes at 6. Temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Should be some gorgeous sunset pictures coming up out there. Lower 60s by News Channel 3 at 10 and by midnight some temperatures in the Mid-South dropping into the upper 50s north of I-40, south of I-40, lower 60s to mid to upper 60s and by tomorrow morning heading the kids out to the school bus stop you may want to think about a jacket because lower 50s waiting for the school bus in shorts and regular shirt sleeves might be a little bit brisk for a lot of kids so they won't need the jacket later on but during the morning hours you may want to think about that back into the metro area temperatures back in the lower 60s and looking at mid to upper 50s to around mid 60s as we get into later on during the morning hours so some very pleasant numbers for parts of the mid-south starting off monday on a very nice note so not seeing any major problems uh, for the Mid-South starting off the week. Seven-day forecast, beautiful today, back in the mid-80s for highs. Very warm, very pleasant, very dry, no problems at all. But we'll reverse that process into Monday. And as we look at highs, almost spot on normal for this time of the year, back in the mid to high 80s, lower 90s for Tuesday, with clouds starting to make their way into the area. By Wednesday, a chance of a shower or thunderstorm coming our direction. We do not see anything in the way of major problems with the rest of the forecast as we get into the next several days. But we do see, again, that potential of getting some showers and thunderstorms all the way from Thursday into Friday and all the way back into around Saturday. And unfortunately, as we go into next weekend, Saturday stands the highest possibility, 40% coverage chance there, 35 into Sunday, 30% and 25% into Tuesday. Not a widespread threat, but possible. So if you have outdoor activities, here we go again. Temperatures again as we close out the area around fall, getting into around summer, going into fall next week. Numbers back in the mid to upper 80s or so. I want to remind you about this tonight public open house at the University of Mississippi, Ole Miss Kennan Observatory, telescope viewing session at the observatory, free to public, families, and kids. Great opportunity to get your kids interested in the hobby of astronomy. So, a good opportunity to see more there. You'll be observing the moon, clusters of stars. Up in the heavens and also nebulae out there the possibility of seeing some of the planets out that direction mars and saturn will be visible tonight assuming things remain uh, relatively clear so not too bad to worry about there uh, if you want to know more about this more from the department of physics and astronomy from old miss that'll be tonight again at 7 40 p.m and should be relatively clear and that should be tonight not tuesday september 13th had the wrong date uh, on there for that that will be tonight on the old miss campus these dates also correct the next upcoming skywarn spotter meetings if you'd like to attend these around the mid-south they will be available for free your tax dollars pay for this the best way to to spend your tax dollars in my opinion this will be the best opportunity to learn more about how you can get prepared for severe weather I've seen Skywarner spotters as young as eight years old doing stuff like this being interested in severe weather what to do before during and after severe weather and this is the best opportunity that you have for things like that if you'd like to know more go to wreg.com slash weather or to the National Weather Service click on the mid south and then click on the Skywarn uh, icon on the left hand side menu it'll say sky warm so click on there and you can click on the calendar and learn about all the stuff that you're going to pick up in about an hour hour and a half or so it's well worth your time and definitely want to get you ready for severe weather before the second peak heads on through trey cool nice shot and a double shot there sorry about the malfunction angela renee doyle sunset from saturday night and a gorgeous view from guys tennessee from Lori robertson naylor a few other places in the mid-south got some decent amounts of sunset pictures as well howard thompson from the from the pyramid looking across the river at a reception last night view from the waxing gibbous moon from 
News Channel 3 contributor Deborah J54, and also a good view of sunset from former News Channel 3 former journalist Dan Patton at Patriot Lake. If you'd like to send in more of those, Aonic underscore WRAG3. My weather forecast coming up this weekend on the EAB Network, Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3, and with Bob and Josh Monday through Friday mornings on Yahoo Sports Radio. That's AM 730 for Sports Talk and what's going on around the Mid-South. Again, questions, concerns, comments, austin.onic at wrag.com. More on your forecast online later on today and into tonight. And, of course, with football going on, we'll be on News Channel 3 anytime. And, of course, on News Channel 3 at 10, possibly delayed, but stay tuned for the complete forecast there. From downtown Memphis at News Channel 3, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for the latest edition of News Channel 3 video weather blog, Weather Overtime.